Hello, hello. We are going to be doing a reading on Emma Bailey. Um, I did previously do a reading on her arrest with her co-defendant that she was arrested with, um, but I just came across this clip that I'm about to insert in a second, and I want to look into this clip specifically and then zoom out and see what we get. Um, so I'm going to insert the clip now. I highly recommend this channel. Evil exists, by the way. This is not like sponsored or anything. It's just that this um, channel has a lot of good information that comes out very quickly. So highly recommend, but here's the clip. There's a girl that looks very similar to Emma Bailey walking out of the Idaho forehouse. Take a look at her hair and the style of it. It's very similar to the body cam footage of her getting pulled over and arrested for a DUI. Take a look. That was good, make contact. Who lives here? Um, uh, we're not actually sure. Do you, know you don't know, know who lives here? here? No. Okay. no I don't. We're just here for a noise complaint. Uh, Hello, Deputy Miller Sheriff's Office. Hello. Driver's license, vehicle registration. Reason we're chatting is running the red light. Yeah. Oh, my, was it red? Mine was green when you cleared the intersection. Oh, my bad. I thought it was yellow when I went, so I'm sorry. It was yellow when I went. I'm sorry if it turned red. What does yellow usually mean? Go slow. Yeah. Okay, so... Um, this is an energy reading and is all alleged, my opinion, not facts, my opinion based off of reading the energy. Let's start with the obvious. Um, was that second portion of the clip the same person, Emma, that was in the other portion of the clip? Page of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Page of Swords would be representing her in this case. Ten of Pentacles. It's interesting because if you look in the comments of that video that I that I just posted the clip of, um, I don't know if it'll come up differently for you, but the you know how it like highlights one comment at the top. The comment that was highlighted at the top for me was someone saying that Emma looks exactly like Brian, but without the crooked nose. And Ten of Pentacles is very interesting because I had that comment in my head because I was thinking to myself, wow, actually, she kind of does a little bit. And I'm going to clarify her for the Ten of Pentacles. The Emperor and the High Priestess. Okay, um, hmm. Okay, um, one card for Brian, one card for Emma, one card for the energy between. Or not, let's not do the energy between, let's do one card for the relationship between. Start with Brian. Huh. What did I say about, I thought it's possible that the connection that Brian had to this was actually a connection that stemmed through someone else in his family or something, or like a connection his parents had or something. Why are these cards coming out? We have Queen of Swords. Okay, so I said, is clip two the same girl as clip one, AKA Emma? We got Page of Swords representing her. She was the one talking in both videos, which, which to me is a confirmation because she wasn't the only one in the videos, but she was the one that talked in both videos because she was the driver in the one and in the other one, she was the one that was on the left-hand side that answered the officers as they approached. Why would get 10 of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles? And 
high priestess and an emperor. It's like we're a pair, but not a pair pair. We're like both in a in a similar position, but not directly with Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Oh, sorry. Queen of Pentacles is for Brian. So let's see what she is, Emma. Knight of Pentacles. Um, the relationship between. Knight of Swords. What the heck? Is it possible that... <clears throat> Emma has a family member that happens to also be a family member of Brian's and that person This is Brian, that's Emma. That's between. How do I word this? It seems as though the same way that Brian is connected to the link is the same way that Emma is connected to the link. So that would be 10 of Pentacles. And it's like, we hold the same level of the same height of significance as one another, but in different ways. Why am I getting Knight of Swords and Knight of Pentacles? Two of Swords. Four of Wands reversed. Is it possible the driver was a female, not a male? I don't know what is going on here. <laughs> um, the Hermit reversed and Six of Cups. There's some kind of connection here and it's a weird one. Hermit, Six of Cups, Four of Wands reversed. The Hermit is under the Knight of Pentacles. Behind closed doors, what do the investigators think or know about Emma possibly being connected to the Idaho Four case? Let's do three cards. So wait, Knight of Swords, Page of Swords, that's the energy between them. Nine of Wands reversed. Ten of Wands reversed. Three of Pentacles. Is she the driver? 
but if she's related to the link, Knight of Swords and Knight of Pentacles makes me feel like she has something to do with a vehicle involved in this. Four of Wands reversed makes me feel, Four of Wands reversed, the Hermit reversed, Two of Swords upright makes me feel like I'm outside of a house in a car. Page of Swords reversed represents her, Ten of Pentacles represents a connection, like a, a um, a bloodline type of connection. Emperor, High Priestess were similar levels but different roles. Queen of Pentacles, how he is connected to her is the same way that she is connected. How Brian is connected to the link is the same type of connection that Emma has to the link. Like, so I'm connected this way and I'm connected this way, but we're like different directions night and night makes me feel like the something about a car swap or something about a car moving then four of pentacles hermit two of swords i'm waiting outside the house by myself in said car trying to make a decision about what to do six of cups there's some kind of connection and Six of Cups would be similar to Ten of Pentacles in the type of connection because it would be a bloodline connection. Three of Pentacles is the card that has represented the three people that I believe were seen in the driveway. And now I'm saying, is she the driver? And we got this with Ten of Wands reverse, which is I'm telling you what to do, and Nine of Wands reverse, which is I'm not diverting from this plan. This is the plan that needs to happen. So Emma got pulled over for DUI. Wait, hold on, she got pulled over for DUI and then she got arrested, she got arrested for something different. She got arrested for the for the overdose thing. How how did they get to her in the overdose case? Like how the timing, if, if there's a connection, that timing seems important. King of Cups reversed and the Fool. Did her co-defendant tell on her? Oh. The fool. Two of cups, ten of swords reversed, ace of pentacles reversed. If they, if they were told who Brian is and then went to find ways to get search warrants to prove what they already knew and how I said I believe that they traced it to the link, skipped her and went back to him. It's almost like we know you're involved for with this because we've had eyes on you, but we can't get to you because of how we figured that out. So we need to get you for something else to bring you in to question you about this so that we can put pressure on you about this to get what you know because you're trying to get out of this charge even though you're in here for this charge, which is interesting because I said something about Someone's going to be arrested. I did say arrested and released. I'll have to find the clip and put it in. Um, arrested and released for something that is not 
looking to be related to the Idaho case, but actually is related to the Idaho case. And it's to get information out of them. That's this. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Why do I feel like the, um, what is his name, Dem Demetrius? It feels like he turned on her to try and save himself or get something, get off easier. Ten of Swords reversed. It's like he told them where to find more dirt on her or something. Okay, I'm just going to word it like this. We're going to do two rows of four. What is Emma's role in the Idaho four case? The tower. The wheel of fortune reversed. The knight of wands. Is she the driver? Like... Six of Swords and the Lovers. The Lovers. The Lovers is under the Tower. The Lovers is Ethan and Xana under the Tower. Her role has something to do with a car and something drastic with Ethan and Xana. Six of Swords would be the movement. Wheel of Fortune in reverse is this didn't go right. Oh wait, hold on, let me pause so I can insert that clip. Okay. Um, I said that there was someone at that one party there was a female presence at the party that was responsible for things happening with Ethan and Xana. That's what this looks like to me. Because I said, whatever was supposed to happen, that's supposed to be on silent. I said, whatever was supposed to happen did not go right in, ter in terms of whatever happened with Ethan and Xana. And that would be the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. The tower would be the drastic piece of the puzzle that it was meant to be, but it didn't go right. Eight of Wands reverse. There's the delay. Ethan and Xana delay. And I said that the delay was a major factor in why things did not go according to plan. And we have the delay under the plan going wrong. Empress reversed, Seven of Swords reversed. Somebody, Xana. Is the Empress Xana? Chariot reversed, Queen of Cups. Xana felt something was off. She was starting to pick up on something. The Empress reversed, Seven of Swords reversed. She, she. This looks like I'm supposed to do something to prevent Ethan and's, oh, drive, them drive, their transport. I'm supposed to do something to prevent Ethan and Xana from going back to the house, but I mess it up. This is a really big part of the plan because they're not supposed to go back to the house. That explains the arrest because she's responsible for messing up part of the plan. Can't be arrested for this because if you're arrested for this, 
then it's obvious that there's a way that they got that information and hence the link would have to be made known. We can't arrest you for this, but you fumbled this plan so you still have to get in trouble. So we're gonna arrest you for this instead because we can link it to you. And it's a close enough case that if later we need to link it to this case, we can. There's a bridge there to walk across, but we don't have to cross the bridge unless necessary. This was a big part of the plan. She was meant to keep Ethan and Zana away from going to the house. Something went wrong because Zana figured out what was going on and wanted to leave, wanted to leave where they were. Zana figures out what's going on, wants to leave where they were and that causes a delay in the plan because I said they weren't in location A and they also weren't in location B and that's what caused the delay because they weren't sure what they were doing and they weren't sure where they were gonna be and they can't have them walking in when this is happening. They have to already be in place. So if they're in the house, then you have someone there guarding them and if they don't go home, then you don't have to worry about it, but they did go home Hence the delay, because then they are home, then we have to get somebody else at the house to make sure that Ethan can't interfere. Zana caught on to what was happening. She felt something was off and was like, we need to get out of here, but then they didn't go straight home because Ethan wasn't feeling well. Allegedly my opinion. Because Queen of Cups reversed, and chariot reversed i said i felt like it was like they sat on a bench or something and like xana was like worried about ethan like i'm trying to help you feel better that would be queen of cups and then reverse chariot would be we we are going and then we stop because i want to make sure that you're okay because i'm worried about you um as in Zana to ethan They're usually really good at confirming, so let's see what we get. First card from Xana. Time is a precious gift here on Earth, and I'm happy for all the moments we shared. It shows an angel going like this, like stop a minute. Time. We're talking about timing being off. We're talking about a delay in the timing because they stopped for a minute so that she, angel, could care for him and make sure he was okay. Ethan. Release any guilt or blame you may feel. It is not your fault. As in him saying that to Xana because Xana wanted to stop on the way home, hence causing a delay, hence getting them involved in this. And I just said it's because Xana picked up on something and Ethan saying it's not your fault. You were trying to protect me. You were trying to care for me, make sure I was okay. And look at the sky is like the same in both pictures. It's just different color. And this one has a person. This one doesn't have a person, but they're not all like that. Um, so Emma has something to do with, which ended up being a big deal because it's not supposed to be for them. Two of them are not supposed to be there. You drop the ball, mess up that part of the plan. They end up at the house. Then they end up dead. Then this ends up huge. So we can't get you in trouble for this because if we get you in trouble for this, it proves that we know the connection and the connection is the link and the link is being protected. So we have to skip over you now and get you for something else. And we know you're involved in this because we already have eyes on you because we had eyes on you about this, but again, can't get you for this, have to get you for something else. Hence the arrest for a similarly topic of narcotics case. But as something, oh, I guess, I guess the car aspect could be talking about just the delay element of like 
movement, but it feels like she also has something to do with a car. But maybe I'm picking up car because she got a DUI and then, I don't know. Judgment, 10 of cups reversed, five of wands. Somebody turned on this girl. Oh, remember I said I thought somebody was gonna turn on the link? If she's connected to the link and somebody turns on her, it's essentially turning on the link. I don't know, something weird. There's somebody that Emma thinks is a friend that is not a friend, that is gathering information it's ironic because someone's gathering information about her and passing it on to to somebody else and i don't know if she's the third girl that was doing that or if she just is involved with the third girl that was doing that i almost feel like she's a fourth girl and is not that third girl it seems like she's a little more removed from the situation than that third girl would have to be to be close enough to gather information if that makes sense it seems like she's more on the outskirts of it but um Something here with Ethan and Zana and her, like she had a part of the plan that was fumbled that has something to do with why there was a delay with Ethan and Zana, hence them being where they weren't necessarily supposed to be or not being awake or what have you. And that was, that was a major part of the plan going wrong. Um, I'm going to collect these and go back through and pull their fire. Hold on one second. Okay. Queen of Pentacles. Sad news in reverse. Queen of Pentacles, sad news in reverse. Queen of Pentacles. So Queen of Pentacles was representing Brian's connection to Emma. Sad news in reverse. It's not news because it came down the pipeline from the link. Knight of Pentacles and Knight of Swords, clarifier. Routine. And it's showing one of those, like um, how you wash your clothes on the board. Wash your clothes on the board. Something to do with a car. It's almost like she had something to do with Ethan and Zana, that delay, what I just talked about. And then there was like a second part where she went to pick up the driver or something, like whoever was the driver, she was meant to pick them up at a certain point or something, or maybe get something and move something. There's something about part of my role is to help clean up some part of this that was messed up because of my first mistake or like my first fumble or whatever you would call it. Um, high Priestess was what? High Priestess and the Emperor, because they came out together. Seduction in reverse. Are they related?
there's some weird connection here. Page of Swords. So that represented Emma. Occupation in reverse. Occupation in reverse. You mess up, you get you get in trouble for messing up. You get fired from your role. Three of Pentacles. So this is the three people in the driveway. Courthouse. Contracts, important decisions, balance needed, discoveries for the Three of Pentacles. So the group making some kind of decision. Ten of Pentacles. Despair. Despair, the family line, because Emma messed up and Brian messed up. Emma's messed up or not doing something like to the T of what was expected caused extra people to be at the house, caused extra people to be murdered, caused this to be as big as it is and as difficult to clean up as it is. King of Cups reversed. Sudden wealth. the cards I was using. Hold on a second. Well, I got judgment. Judgment, sudden wealth. King of Cups reverse. Yeah, somebody behind the scenes is being paid off. And, it, and it's not being paid off anything particularly to do with Brian it's being paid off so that the link is not the one that's discovered in this temperance um it's almost like it can make it look like people are trying to help Brian or sabotage things for Brian, but it's really just so this other aspect of everything that involves the link doesn't end up coming out. There was one more I wanted to do. Oh, the lovers and the delay. Oh, and Xana. All right, so the lovers and the reversed eight of wands. Oh, of course. Family room. Yeah, I think the goal was to get them to stay at the previous location, Ethan and Xana, because this was upright. And it does show a woman on the picture in the card. It's like trying to get them to stay, but then I push too far, they end up picking up on something and, and Dana wants to leave. But then Ethan's not feeling well, but he was supposed to be not feeling well staying there. Like the not feeling well was supposed to keep him in that place, but instead 
Xana picks up on something weird. He's not feeling well, they leave, but they end up stopping because he's not feeling well, not going straight home, and that causes the delay. And the delay is not just them getting there, but the delay is now we have to have someone else keep an eye on to make sure that Ethan doesn't get involved or try and stop it. Is there something that would make you like make your stomach hurt and then I think I said this before make you like really tired because I feel like it was supposed to set in so that Ethan did not leave the first place to go back to King Road. That was the lovers. Um, the Empress Reverse. Great water. Yeah, they like stopped and sat somewhere on the way home. Great water makes me feel like, um, like here, take this, drink this. Like, let's sit for a second until you feel better. This card also says new views and horizons. So sitting somewhere, just hanging out for a minute. The tower. How was the tower moment messed up for Ethan and Xana? Marriage in reverse. It's like one of them wanted to stay and Xana was like, no, something's weird. We have to go. But it's almost like there was some reason that Ethan was already convinced to stay before that. But then Xana was like, no, something's off. We have to go. But like he was already planning on staying there and then changed the plans. To leave. Um, one card from each victim, how would they describe Emma's energy? Let's start with Ethan. Like just in general, not in like a particular time, just like in relation to this case. In reverse, forgetting oneself. She knows exactly what she's doing. She's aware of her decisions and her actions and is making them Voluntarily, Xana. Oh. Lilith, thief of life. Hunger, animalism, and instinct. Hmm. That would make sense if if this was her role in it and I said it has something pretty much directly to do with Ethan and Xana. We got a male on this card, a female on that card. They're kind of facing one another, Ethan and Xana. And Xana's saying you're you're pretty responsible for what happened. Um, Kaylee, the Leopard King, Sword of Law, Bravery, Self-Discipline, and Faith. The Leopard King. Leopard makes me feel like, oh, like someone that nobody can get near or should go near because of the meaning of the word in some senses that makes me think link sort of law makes me think that what this is saying is Kaylee saying 
Emma is protected from going down for this. Not that they can't get her for other stuff, but they're going to try to not connect it to this. Maddie. Queen of Shadows, Wrath, Instability, and Suspicion. That's all. So we have from Ethan and Zana, they describe her in a, in a male, female, and then Maddie and Kaylee male female she's working directly as the counterpart of some other energy hmm i'll do one tarot clarifier for each of these so forgetting oneself from Ethan. It actually kind of a little bit looks like Ethan in a way. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, she messed up and had to make up for it. And it has something to do with Ethan and Xana. Lilith, Thief of, Thief of Life from um, Xana. The Sun Reversed. The Sun Reversed. The Sun, the only male, Ethan, reversed. She was meant to keep Ethan temporarily down so that he did not go to the house. That didn't work. So... Partially, she's responsible for this happening. That's what Zane was saying. Because the sun being reversed is like a temporary feeling. So it's like I meant to temporarily trap him, I guess, prevent him from leaving so that he was not in the King Road residence. The Leopard King Sword of Law from Kaylee. Nine of Pentacles reversed. This is a card about being guarded. This is the card that I said. Um, she was saying that Emma was protected. Not from every case, but from this case. So they have to get her for something else because they can't trace it back to how she was connected to this case. And this is about being guarded. Queen of Shadows. Ooh. You saw it the first time. Queen of Shadows. The moon reversed. Secrets coming out. A piece of the puzzle that we didn't have that we now have. Um, how do I word this? Whoever it was out of the four that had the most interaction or like whatever it is with Emma, what were they meant to learn from it? Like what lesson were the four meant to learn in terms of Emma's potential role, if that makes sense. The law of mental equivalent. Use your imagination to create your dreams into reality. The law of mental equivalent. Is 
there was some kind of mind game being played at the four victims or at least at two of the four victims. Um, It's a mix of a mind game and um, Ace of Cups. Um, it's a mix of a mind game that was being played in some regards. And I think it was coming from multiple people, not just Emma, but like she had some involvement in it. And mental equivalent, I feel, is also pointing towards like the girls were reading the situation as this is really big but we're trying to can't i don't know how to word this like convince themselves or or make it feel in their minds like it wasn't as big as it was so that even though they knew it was like they tried to convince themselves that it was less so that they weren't scared. Not that that's like a wrong thing to do, but how do I word this? It's almost like they knew how big of a of something they were up against and knew that there was likely other steps that they should take, but didn't because they were like, okay, well, it can't really be. I don't, I don't know if I'm explaining that right, but that's like in some regard, they believed that they were making it out in their mind to be bigger than it was, even though it was not bigger than they, like they were reading it correctly, but thought they were exaggerating it. That's what I'm getting. Especially with the Ace of Cups coming out as a clarifier. That's like, it represents the Holy Grail. So it's like, I'm trying to make it seem like this isn't as significant as it is, because if it is as significant as it is, it's very scary. Hold on a second. What other steps would have been taken if they would have realized or accepted how big of a thing they were up against? Page of Cups, Knight of Cups. This was Kaylee. This would be the counterpart if Kaylee would have really realized she would have talked to someone that she's related to which I think she was close to doing. It's almost like she was sending out little feelers to see how people would react and then was gonna... So what would she have done if she would have accepted... I don't even know how to put this without it sounding bad because I'm not trying to make it sound bad. Like you're up against this great big wall that's 300 feet tall and you're like, okay, well, I must be not seeing that, right? It must only be 100 feet tall because it can't be 300 feet tall because that would just be crazy. But it really it is. And if you just would have said, okay, it's 300 feet tall, I need some outside help here. If that makes sense. I don't know how else to explain it, but that's what I'm getting. Um, okay, that's it for now because I don't even know what else to ask right at the second um i am still doing viewers questions i wasn't anticipating doing this reading i just did it because i saw that clip and had to know so um yeah talk to you soon